Hey, Mosaic family, we hope you're doing well in this season. This week, we invite you to join us in practicing fasting and simplicity. Very few of us would describe our life circumstances and lifestyle as simple. In fact, it feels like we live in a culture that values filling our lives as full as we can with activity and stuff. The rhythms of fasting and simplicity are about intentionally removing something from your life to create space. What would it take to simplify our calendar and commitments practically? Well, you may have to say no to some things. So which things would you say no to? It doesn't take long before seemingly simple practical considerations about simplifying get to what our hearts value most. We could talk about all the ways that someone could simplify through their behavior. You could simplify your possessions to free up space for generosity. You could simplify your schedule to free up space for rest or to give more effectively to the commitments you make. But the reality is when we make those practical decisions, we are making value judgments that speak to our priorities, to whom or what we love. That means that simplicity is ultimately an issue of the heart. God wants to simplify our lives for good, so he will have to simplify what our heart loves and trusts. If our hearts are simplified to the point of trusting and loving God and His ways, then we will have the capacity to be content, whether in times of abundance or lack. Our worth, value, security, peace, and purpose is not attached to external stuff or circumstances. Rather, our minds, hearts, and souls are securely and simply attached to God. Jesus, the Son of God, gave up everything and became poor to the point of death on a cross to give all of his riches and glory and kingdom to us. He gave all of himself and all he had to seek and save the lost. If you want to be more like that, more like Jesus, then the spiritual rhythm of simplicity and of heart and life will help you along the way. Hear now from the word of the Lord. Matthew 6, 19 through 21 says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. As you consider the spiritual rhythm of simplicity this week, notice anxieties connected with lack and excess. Ask God to assess your attachment to possessions. Notice the danger of comparisons and lack of satisfaction in God. Consider fasting this week, maybe a meal a day or a whole morning, and use that time to reflect on how Jesus saves and sustains and downsize an area of excess to maximize joy in God.